gosh, guys, welcome to Cooking with Top Shows with Pat and Nat. Now, I'm gonna make a pork tenderloin recipe. Kat's That's gonna what help this me. Is called it. Now, and when you hold it like that, it looks revolt. But I'm gonna, I make it on um, Instagram all the time and everybody wants to know what it is. Her children love it. She doesn't eat it, but I'm gonna make it here today. I mean, if you make it for my children, it's then like I'm eating friend. it. Let's have Rose. Cheers, let's get started. Rosé all day. Cause it, mm. All right, you're gonna have to help with this. Okay, and it's also a one pan wonder because we're gonna use the cast iron favorite item right here where we're gonna cook everything, okay? Now, we're gonna start by heating up our pan a little bit. You want your cast iron to be hot, hot. when you add the ingredients. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the dry rub, guys, on the pork tenderloin. So I've got a small pork tenderloin here. We what? don't know what a dry rub is. A dry rub is all of your dried seasoning. So here I have I'm garlic chocolate powder, while you dry rub. smoked paprika, salt and pepper okay Let's say you don't have these ingredients in your house then you're not going to do a dry rub. Use salt salt and pepper would be fine now you're just going to rub that's what they call it a rub you're just going to massage the meat i will do i would have asked you to do this i'll get you the wet one because i know you don't want to touch the meat And before you do the dry rub, you wanna dry out your pork tenderloin to make sure that it really, the other items can stick to it. Now you're gonna make the wet. I want to put a little bit of garlic. Now normally I need to use fresh garlic, but because Kat doesn't have fresh garlic, perfect. We're gonna mix garlic. We're going to mix mm -hmm. maple syrup. Then I want you to put some um, vinegar. So you can use apple cider vinegar. Today we're gonna to use a white wine vinegar because that's what she has. I have preheated the oven to 375. Then you're gonna add soy sauce. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, now you stop and you're gonna take the little whisk and you're gonna whisk that up. While she's whisking that, I'm gonna take the pork tenderloin and make sure it's hot here, it is, because I'm gonna sear the pork tenderloin now, okay? You, you ready guys? We're going to, do you hear that sound? That's when you know it's hot enough. And we're gonna take the pork tenderloin and we're gonna sear it on all sides. Searing is gonna give it that crust on the outside and it's gonna lock in all the juices. Fry it. Yes, and you're gonna brown it so that everything gets locked in. You get a nice crust on the outside. Okay. Which really caramelizes the meat and it really just tastes juicy and delectable. <laughs> oh. All right, so we are searing the pork tenderloin on every side. Every side. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Get your olive so oil what do people there? with cooking shows talk about while it's searing? Like, are you supposed to give them tips? Well, they have commercials. Got it. Okay. So, so for this, is you've got the dry right. rub, okay? So you're, the dry rub is going to flavor the outside. Then we're going to make a sauce. Ooh. We're drinking a little rosé today because, you know, the kids are home. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Okay, she's playing with the sides, and it's it can beautiful. Sure everything is brown. You can open the front door. Beautiful. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know how your um, your uh, fire alarm is in your house. I haven't tried it out. You are going to pour that inside. How do I know if it's the right ingredient? I told you it was. Now, can you please get an oven mitt? And you're going to stick that in the oven oh. at 375. Okay. Stick it in, right, right now, we're sticking in the oven. Stick it in the stick oven. Stick it in the oven right now. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. Doesn't that smell good? You can smell the vinegar. Oh, no. I have old baked potatoes in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> minutes you're looking for an internal temperature of 145 okay I have now put this pork tenderloin in the sauce on top to heat it up and what's gonna happen is I don't want to cook the meat anymore what are you so doing I'm now? gonna take the meat mm. I'm gonna place it to rest mm -hmm. okay and I'm gonna reduce this sauce okay so I'm gonna bring it to a boil I'm gonna reduce it so it turns more like into like a almost like a syrupy sauce 
You don't want it to burn because remember you had the maple syrup and sugar. I can remember burn. we set off the alarm, so. Oh god. You're gonna take now. Can I trust you to cut this pork tenderloin? Yes. On the bias? Yes. I cooked. I, I cut it on the bias. Super good. No, they don't need to go in here long. No, nope, I think they're done. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is first we're going to add the pieces of pork onto the plate. So we're gonna drizzle it over oh, top drizzle. a little bit. Drizzle. Careful with my hand. Good. Okay. okay. Look at that. It's beautiful. Then with the salad. The bad girl. Just like this. Here. How do you write here? T H I S. All right, <gasps> this is your pork tenderloin oh, with the dry rub and the so reduced sauce with a fresh Caesar salad. Guys, make sure you try this. It was a one pan wonder. Mm. I can taste the dry rub, the reduced sauce, the soy sauce, and maple syrup. Was it delicious? Max is dying for you. Yeah. Oh my God, get a fork and a knife, Max right. and Rowan. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Bob?